sleep from your eyes. No time for the sky. It's that time, it's that time. The time you do it. Come on, do it with me. Come on, start, start stretching. Come on. Stretch your hips out. Oh no. Stretch your back out. Oh no. Let's do those jumping jacks. Oh no. Come on. That's right. Whatever you do in the morning, your box, have your juice, your chamomile. Where's your muffin? Oh, it's that time. Time to wake up. Turn that thing down and get ready for school. You heard me. Turn that thing down and get ready for school. It's time for that morning. Good morning, wake up. Come on, team. Yeah, come on now. Man, That's hit, right. Now, where were we? Hit that plan B when you Metal get Metal Muso. <laughs> You're wrong. Metal Muso. Whatever you need, we got it right here. Come on, it's time for morning coffee. Damn. See, sucker. I got my juice. I got a... Uh, we got Mac, you know we need. <laughs> Have a little team. Oatmeal, gotta watch that cholesterol. <laughs> yeah. Remember the days you would start the day? Remember, Vic, we would get one of those pastrami and egg sandwiches. Oh, man. On the way to work. Hell no, man. That cholesterol up. No, nah, no, nah, mine was hummus, <laughs> man. It was hummus. <laughs> yeah. Come on, everybody. It's time for morning coffee. We were a little late this morning because of Newt Gingrich and the Jackson 5. You know, miss that ride. <laughs> you know, it's just the way it goes. All right, because it's Tuesday. Tuesday, April 13th. That's right. Time for taxes. Oh. Ah! That's right. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Danny, Danny, dance for him. Yeah. Hey, Danny, they stretching out in the chat room. <laughs> Come on, Norman. <laughs> Come on, Mac. You know. Oh. Come on, Norman. You can take the lead on these. Leslie. Mm. Now, we know Leslie's not feeling good, so that's why we got to give her special love. Come on, Leslie. <laughs> Kiss, big kisses to you, Leslie. Mwah. Much love to the Falu. How come Danny ain't dancing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know I can gate. do that. I got, I got a message from Pooley's at the gate. <laughs> oh, Pooley's at the gate. Oh, watch this. One. Watch it. this one. We just. Mm. Next time you let us know. When you're on the show, that's the way it go. Yes, morning coffee. Let me see what I got here, y'all. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. Oh, man, we got teen girls carjacking. We got GOP chair Michael Steele apologizing to America. That's right. The new Oprah bio by Kitty Kelly. Oprah says she don't want no part of it. Oh, come on. Everybody settle in. That's right. Oh, Obama's working on the Supreme Court. Yes, Corinne Bailey Ray's got a new CD. Y'all heard about that? The C. We're going to see the C. <laughs> Come on, get yourself. All right, y'all. Woo! That's your workout, ain't it? Man, that's about the most exercise I get all week. <laughs> yeah, okay, do one of these. A like Patty the Bell Flyway exercise. <laughs> I call it the Patty the Bell Flyway. <laughs> Help get the muscles loosened up. It'll do more than that. All right, grab a chair, grab a chair, grab a chair, grab a chair. Grab a chair. Oh man, that was uh, oh. that was interesting, Woo. man. I don't know. I have Love. to, I have to give you help props, me. man. Got help to give me, help props. me. You need a lot of help, don't you? Help me. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. I know. Oh my man. goodness. All right. It was one of those days, man. Right. <laughs> Had to put on my headphones, you know. Yeah. To feel cool. Yeah, I know, man. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's time for morning coffee. That's right. It's been and it's been a wonderful morning. Uh, everything just jumping out at us, as it were. <laughs> but we do it that way. We do it that way because we like excitement and challenge. You know, excitement and challenge. And I'm gonna switch up my headphones right now. Yeah, and not necessarily in that order, if you, uh, you know, as you put it so appropriately, my brother. That's right. I just want to know how long are you gonna work out like that for the remainder of the season? Who we go? We go try. We try to do a new thing. Vic, see, Vic, you guys don't realize that Vic let me know that the audience out there was requesting to see my body in full. That's right. That's well, right. They're commenting they, on it. They're commenting. <laughs> yeah. Fifty <laughs> pounds said, lighter. You said that um, you you're slimming down. Yeah. 50, thank you, country. Norman said you look cute. Thank you, Norman. Nope. Don't tell them that. Yes, now check it out, you guys, because I'm, I am, I'm, I was at one point, I was almost two hundred sixty pounds. I'm now two hundred eighteen pounds, wow. and I'm hungry. <laughs> 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 no, no. Tell, tell you the truth, you guys. Check it out, you guys. Check it out. Last night, much to Daddy's chagrin, 
mustard daddy's chagrin last night. I actually made some chitlins. Oh. Y'all into chitlins out there? People say, oh, Mario. Yes, I did make some chitlins. Listen, coming up. I cooked with my mother. It's one of those wonderful bonding experiences between black men and their mother. And she taught me how to cook chitlins. Now, y'all say, well, it's cleaning the chitlins. That's so much work. Well, see, this is where I use today's technology. I buy the clean chitlins right. at about twice the price. But chitlins didn't cost anything anyway. So those you don't know, chitterlings, <laughs> pig intestines. That's right. I get mine pre-cleaned. And then I cleaned them anyway. So yesterday, while waiting for an appointment with an important client, I decided to use that time in between to clean chitlins. So I cleaned ch 10 pounds of fresh, oh. clean chitlins, <laughs> and I cooked chitlins. You know, my woman wouldn't even go in the house. Oh, that was My woman wouldn't even go in the house because she didn't want to, to, to experience the chitlin smell. And, I, you know, wrinkle steak. <laughs> Y'all had some chitlin. And then I made some rice. You know what goes good with some chitlins too? Some greens and some rutabaga. <laughs> no. Y'all say, how did he lose Lord. that weight? Um, it smelled, it's, you know, I, I, the first time I had ever heard about chitlins, I was in a soul food restaurant and sitting, sitting kind of like near the kitchen and I kept saying, what is that horrible smell? Let's go. I couldn't deal with it. My friend is kicking me under the table like, shut up, they're making chitlins. <laughs> chitlins. <laughs> See? Chitterlings. That's not the way it's spelled on the, on the package. or something else. Chitlins we have all the time. Chitlins. Yes, no. This is the <laughs> historical slave food. As it were, let me give you a quick history lesson. As it was in the day, the master would take the ham, all the good part, parts of the pig, and then he would give you the leftovers. So he gave the slaves the feet, the head, yep. the intestines. And those black folks, as creative as they are, managed to make wonderful, wonderful, delicious dishes that we enjoy today that managed to keep our cholesterols sky high. But it's not just slave, it wasn't just slave food. That particular, uh, you're, you're just mentioning that. You because know, it's not slave food everywhere, right. Exactly, because everybody in every country, nothing goes to waste when it comes to uh, Food, no, an animal, nothing goes whatever. To nothing goes to waste. They just in had Italy, choice. In they Greece. just had choice. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, other... I'm just saying they oh, had. No. They had. Yeah, exactly. Italy, Greece, France. They all. I mean, look at the Scottish. The Scottish have uh, have haggis. That's the intestine stuffed with organ meat, I and that's a delicacy for them. We watched the thing about the the Greeks who were doing a goat. They yeah. were roasting a goat, and they did the same thing with the organs meat. Organ meats. They put them on a skewer. Then they wrapped the organ meats around. They wrapped them around with chitlins. <laughs> so they have this big old, when they roast the goat, they have this other big log of organ meat that's wrapped with chitlins. And by the time they cooked it, mm -hmm. are you guys grossing out out there? Yeah, they're like, I mean, Emmy is like, no! <laughs> In the chat room. <laughs> Come on. Chitlins. Country, country don't eat none. Country don't eat, said, nope, I don't but fool with no hog. But y'all, but see, y'all, see, you know what's so funny? This is all y'all second generation. <laughs> That's right. Because everybody, even the people here yesterday, oh, Mario, I said, but everybody's parents had eaten them. Oh, my daddy, my mama, my auntie. Mm -hmm. So I know it was just me celebrating my roots, which sometimes people pronounce roots. But I was celebrating my roots. And I had to eat chitlins yesterday because today, at the end of the show, I have to make one last trip to the accountant about these taxes. Now, how many of you ready to, did you, did you pay? <laughs> did you pay? Nope. You owe it to yourself to cheat on your taxes. That's Come right. on. If not, you're supporting the war effort. That's right. <laughs> you support. So you got to cheat.